Here we are, day one, looking at the north face of Mount Kailash. We've just walked up from Darshan, and you can see our camp in the foreground. We've just uh, completed a walk that's rated six hours by our guide in uh, four and a half hours at a steady but very, very slow pace. The 4,000 meter plus altitude is just playing havoc with our pace and our ability to uh, walk at a steady pace. Um, our pace has just gone down to a grandma step. But here we are at the north face and uh, it's been intermittent rain, probably a wind chill factor of uh, 10 degrees or lower and uh, a little bit of rain but uh, we seem to be missing the, um, the rain and we just stopped here for a few minutes before we go back down to our um, campsite. And in the, for, in the foreground there you can see a monastery and a hotel but it's pretty rough up here, pretty rugged but the, uh, the scenery is just spectacular. It's well worth the walk and the effort to make the uh, time and energy to uh, get up here. So that's it for day one. And tomorrow is day two and the Kora Pass. Hey, day two, and we have just completed Dhammala Pass. We are at 5,360 meters. 5,000. 630 meters. It was a hard slog. It's cold, ice, <laughs> snow, but the uh, view is just spectacular. It's all downhill from here. Thanks to our guides, we uh, managed to get up here in how much time? So it took us four hours to get to this point and uh, this is the, the highest point of the, of the walk, of the climb and uh, well worth the effort and uh, I was actually passed by an old lady about 70 years old just strolled right past me and you can see here this is where all the prayer flags are put takes up the whole place, being the highest point and the most significant point. Do you want to add something dear? On day three, on our final leg of the Mount Kailash Kora, we're walking out. Uh, it's about two and a half an hour, two and a half hour walk out. This is about the only view of the uh, east face of Kailash that we'll see due to low cloud. But uh, 
Weather's not too bad. We just come along this valley. Very spectacular. Quite cold, but a uh, little bit of hail. Otherwise, the weather's just fine. And uh, overcast. And uh, we just walk along this river bank and walk out uh, and finish our Cora for Mount Kailish. Okay, this is day, day three and the last day of our Cora. We've just completed in the foreground. You can see our yak men bringing our gear up. We've just descended from 4,600 to about 4,000 meters. Pretty, pretty easy going, but even at 4,000 meters, uh, walking over the passes is still hard work. And as I pan around, you can see the river and Lake Rakshas in the foreground. Uh, we haven't been able to see Mark Kadesh much at all today, apart from that uh, brief glimpse. Uh, but uh, we're all arrived here safely, and uh, we're now off to have a nice hot bath somewhere and see how we go. And there's Nina and Mungo Patel. Mungo Patel's coughing and splashing away still a bit from the altitude. But uh, we, all <coughs> we all seem to have survived the, uh, the journey quite well and it was a spectacular walk.